hey guys welcome back to yet another video so in this video bam shabam bam here we have an lg g8 x as you can see the gax 10q and in this video if i can find the display fingerprint sensor there we go i'm going to show you guys on how to update this phone to android 11 or presumably if lg have a good heart have a good feeling android 12. i don't think we're gonna get android 13 so just don't get your hopes up right so i got this phone and it is still running android 9 it's not that. it is still running android 9 v 10 d let me know is this the original firmware i don't think so because it's a 2020 patch could be the last android 9 version and one of the reasons why i'm trying to show you guys this tutorial is because the software update on the phone itself cannot find any more updates so my phone is now stuck on android 9 even though there's android 10 and android 11 for this g8x so in this video i'm gonna show you guys how to flash the stock lg firmware and upgrade your lg g8x to android 10 or android 11 so but on this video i'm gonna use android 11 all right so let's go to the video shall we all right guys so i do found this xde link which i will link in the description below basically telling us on how to flash using a kdz file which also this is the file that we need to install the lg up lg up is basically the tools that we're going to use to uh, flash our firmware is this one so uh there is a lot of one on google that use their own server and media fire but the one that i found is from google drive so uh yeah nice download speeds and for the five gigabyte it will download pretty fast all right so let's install the things that we need so we're going to download this uh lg app directory here so we're gonna download this thing one by one because if you click here it has to be you have to be a premium user here and also big thanks to mr harry yeah harry at 007 for the tutorial on xda all right so right click download we're gonna download them one by one here all right so this is the four files that we need right here now we're gonna go in and first things first we're gonna install the lg usb drivers here Next, we're gonna extract this lab uh, archive here. All right, and then we're gonna install this lab frame one. All right, now we're gonna extract this DLL folder. This is a little typo here on the archive. Install this common DLL uh, thingy. All right, that should be installed now. Now we're gonna go to our C drive here. Go to program files x86 right here and find LG Electronics. There it is, LG Electronics, LG up, model, and common right here. And then we're gonna go back. We're gonna extract this UI config archive uiconfig.lgl then we're just gonna copy it to this little directory like so okay guys now the next step is we're gonna turn off our phone here power off power off okay now where the phone is powering off we're gonna plug in a cable to a computer all right our type c cable and then we're gonna plug into the phone while you press the volume up key all right so we're gonna press the volume up key and then we're gonna plug the phone to the computer okay you can see here now the phone is at download mode okay and we release the volume up button and then we go now into this firmware update mode all right okay now we are gonna go ahead and open up lg up here lg up is initiating you can see that it says to get this little arrow here click on ok and you guys will be just fine you can see here it detected the gax10q now we're gonna make sure it says on refurbish right here and make sure that we already find the path file to our kdz file which if you guys haven't found it click on these three dots and find it your kdz file which is this one that i linked to you guys in the description down below and once all of these are look good to go make sure you get here refurbish here Hit on start. Do you want to change the model? Open EUDS to open CA. All right, let's click on OK because this is a Chinese model. I don't know because the phone it did come with the first language is Chinese, so I'm not so sure. Click OK here. So it changed the model from the EU model to the Canadian model. As you can see there, it detected on the computer COM20. And now we're gonna sit back and enjoy while the phone upgrades to Android 11. All 
Alright, here we are arrived at the setup. Current version is not available. Can't find match carrier. Oh, let's see we we if this is gonna be alright. But let's set the phone up and I'll be right back. Alright, here we are arrived at the home screen. Okay. Let's see. Do we have Android 11 or no? Oh yes, the style is definitely changed. So it looks like we are successfully updated. You can see. I do got my service on, so service is good. Uh, system software info, and there we go. Android 11 with the August 1st, 2021 patch, so it's a little bit left behind still. Wow! <laughs> but then again, you know, cut some slack, man. LG has stopped making phones, you know. You only got lucky that this phone got Android 11. I mean, you know, because they stopped making phones, but there you go. Android 11 on the LG. G A X. I mean, if we got Android 12 LG, very good. But if we not, then it is it is what it is, alright. And let's see if phone calls work. I'm pretty sure it will. Let's do a USSD check here to make sure it works. And oh, okay, it does work. It does work, which is good. Okay, so. Uh, there you go guys, that's an easy way of how to update your LG G8X, I see the new app switcher here, do we got new, oh yes, this is like the One UI, very nice, there you go, that's how you update your LG G8X to Android 11, and yeah, if your phone gets the same problem as me, where it cannot find an update via LG Bridge and LG OTA, then this is how you do it, alright, you force the update and then you go, you got Android 11 on this thing, alright. So, thank you guys for watching this video, comment, like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace!